When I was five, I was raped by a family member. It was probably the most terrifying thing to ever happen to me. I was sexually assaulted three times, first time when I was four, um, then when I was 19, and then again when I was 22. I was 11 years old when I experienced my very first significant incident of sexual harassment. When I was four, I remember being kind of forced onto the lap of my mother's friend's husband. One morning, I took a taxi as usual, my little uniform, not a care in the world because I was a child, you know, and as I dropped off, a man who was well in his mid-twenties, probably late-twenties, followed me. He often would come around and he would make a beeline for me, hold me on his lap and clearly, you know, be getting some kind of enjoyment out of it. And I thought that that was the worst of it, but it happened several times over throughout my childhood for a number of years. I'm going to groom you. I'm going to raise you for myself. He walked me until I got to the school gate. I was trembling. Later on in life, I got gang raped and I was a drug addict at the time. And I think I'd got so used to this kind of sexual unwanted attention, I landed up not leaving the room after my rape. I haven't spoken about it in public before because I don't think people take too well to sexual, sexual assault survivors speaking out about it because um, it's always about why are you talking about it? Um, do you want attention? What do you want from this? What do you want to come off it? Instead of comfort, I got shouted at and I was treated like I was a dirty little mischievous child hiding things. I was afraid that this had made me, my boobs, my kind of awakening womanhood um, was the cause of my problem and that was the reason why men were behaving like that towards me so I felt real shame. Society tells you that people who are born male don't get raped and that's not always the case and it doesn't only happen to women and I think that's a common misconception. My Me Too post will hopefully make other people also share their stuff. We often say it could be your sister that gets raped or your mother or your wife that gets raped but actually it could be your father that's a rapist or your brother that's a rapist, um, your cousin, your uncles and even your aunts. This isn't something that happens to people that are quite distant from them but could happen in their immediate friend and family circles. So if we talk about it we let people know that it's not okay and we let other survivors know that it's okay, they're going to be okay 